folks, Justin Skeens, your friendly neighborhood firearms instructor, coming to you from my um, messy reloading bench here. Uh, got some dry fire tools I wanted to kind of talk about today. Uh, recently got my splint taken off of my hand, or soft cast if you will, um, healing up nicely, but that trigger finger still has very limited movement to it. Uh, I'm only two weeks out from having had surgery on it. I'm uh, going to wind up with a nice lightning bolt looking scar. So I'll tell everybody that I got my uh, Mitch Elect trigger installed in that. Um, but as part of this process of healing and moving forward from this, um, I'm going to be using my CERT pistols for a lot of this. Two of my more recent CERT pistols that I've gotten are the... 115C, which is much like the Gen 5 Glock 19 in size and weight. And you can see that I've added an optic plate into the dovetail. And this was a, a decent uh, solution to not having an optic cut for a while. Um, and this is the, the 115, which obviously mimics a Gen 5 Glock 17. And again, you can see that I've got the dovetail mount here. Mounts the optic up higher than I would like. It's not a one-to-one -one for my training. Um, still gets you on the optic. Still gets you on the dot. You still get to do a, a lot of your training exercises, but this just wasn't ideal. So I was talking with the folks from Next Level Training not so long ago, and they let me know that they have optic cut models now. So I have one here. And basically, these are cut so that you can use the Glock MOS plates, or they're also set up so that you can direct mount an RMR type optic straight onto the gun. And I thought that this was pretty cool. Uh, currently, it looks like they're only available on the 115 models, uh, which, if you were going to get started into dry fire with something like the cert pistol i would highly suggest getting a model 110 to see if it's beneficial for you uh, it has been for me it has been for a lot of my students um, i've loaned some of these out to people for them to use and evaluate and see if they're beneficial for them the 115 is certainly an upgrade from the model 110 but the 110 can get you going for right around 200 bucks um, the 115 is significantly more expensive. I think you're closer to $380 or $400. And I can save you a little bit of money on that. Um, if you go over to Next Level Training, anything on their website, you can get a 10% discount using JDS10. That's JDS10, uh, which will cover your taxes and, and part of your shipping. Um, but that's available on anything on their website. And it really just kind of helps you out to be able to get started on something like that. So if it was me and I was starting off, I would get something like a Model 110 and just kind of move from there. But this is nice. We've got a 19 and a 17. But one of the more popular carry guns right now and one of the more popular duty guns has the frame of the 17 with the slide of the 19. So what's a guy to do? Well, as it turns out, uh, they have an option for that as well, and it's called the 115S. And I actually just got one sent to me, so I want to do an unboxing here, show you what you get in the, in the box, and kind of let you check out some of the features of it. All right, well, I've saved you the painstaking moments of watching me try to cut that box open with one and a half hands. So here's what I've got. I always request whenever they send me one of these that they go ahead and send it to me in a soft case. They offer these on their website. It's very nice. Always appreciated. Um, they also make a really nice um, gun rug to take to pistol matches so that you can use those for transferring your guns in between stages.
So like I say, yours will probably not show up like this, but whenever I talk to the folks from Next Level Training, I always ask to have them ship the gun to me in one of the soft bags. It saves them from sending the box to me that I'm just going to throw away, and then I get a nice bag out of the deal. Um, and they're reasonably priced. This is the first time that I'm seeing this, so... All right. Well, there we have it. There you go. The CERT 115S. And you can see we've got the plate installed. Covers up our optic cut in case we wanted to use iron sights with that. So you do get the Glock 17 length frame here. But you also get the 19 length slide. So definitely works out to be very similar um, in feel to say a Glock 45 or a 19X. Um, I do have this one set up so that it has the green laser module in it. Uh, so these do come with a takedown tool. And this tool also allows you to adjust your trigger break and reset as well as adjusting your laser alignments. So windage, elevation, you do have two laser modules. One is trigger take up. So you should be able to see the trigger take up laser. And then the trigger break is the green. So if I flip the switch on the top, now I don't have the take up, but I do have the trigger break. It's a good training tool when you're trying to teach people how to be able to write the reset and such um, and maintain contact with the trigger. Um, I like to adjust my lasers so that they're actually below my line of sight so that they're not having an effect on me where I'm trying to see the laser instead of seeing my sights while I'm dry firing. Um, because that is a pitfall that you can kind of run into. And again, this is one of the beautiful things about the CERT pistols. You don't have to worry about live ammunition. Your slide does not reciprocate, but we can work magazine changes. Um, you get your trigger manipulations. I'm getting a lot of reflection back on those lasers. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and mount up uh, an RMR pattern optic on here real quick and let you guys see what that looks like. Um, I don't have any MOS plates with me, otherwise I would go ahead and throw one on there. Alright, so <clears throat> here's what I found. I had to go dig through my box of goodies. Um, and I actually found one of the old boxes from one of my Sealy Optics. And it had 632 by, we'll call that 3 eighths of an inch, um, screws and those worked out perfectly on this slide so i was able to put my uuq i, I think this is an eagle c28 optic um, i did notice one thing um, the overhang here where it kind of mimics like an sro does get into my slide so i could fix that one of two ways i could either put an mos plate on here and then use that as a spacer. We're raising the optic up considerably then. Or I could just get a shim and put underneath it here. So there should be anti-flicker RMR shims that are available on the market. Um, looking at it, I would say that would probably do it pretty well. Um, and this optic is perfectly fine for what we're doing here. You don't need to have a super high-end optic for this. Um, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it is a dry fire tool. Make it how you want it. Uh, a couple other things I will point out here. Um, you get your takedown tool, which does stow right here in the magazine well. And again, that allows you to make your adjustments up here for your trigger break and uh, take up, as well as your sight alignments. They also send an extra Allen wrench in case you don't want to dig that out. Also in the package, you can expect to get a 
warning. Don't shine the lasers in your eyes. Another thing that I'll point out here is that these guns are inert, but they do look very realistic. So if you're going to be doing any kind of training where anybody that isn't a part of it can see, please be very careful uh, because these could be mistaken as live fire guns and we wouldn't want anybody to be involved in any kind of a situation uh, where that went sideways. So please be mindful that if we're out and about where the public can see us while we're training with these, they may mistake this as a live firearm. Also included in your packaging, your registration card. So this basically activates your uh, warranty, lets you register. You get a nice CERT 365 cert pistol sticker and then we've got a quick start guide here and this basically talks about uh, some of the benefits of the cert pistol uh, being a user-friendly training device designed to replicate the feel and use of a live fire gun they talk about the use of the cert they talk about the functions uh, turning prep laser off adjusting the lasers elevation the prep laser elevation adjusting when the prep laser activates, windage, adjusting the trigger, adjusting the trigger weight, and the trigger travel. These do have a CR123A battery inside of them. Again, we've got our warranty information here. Make sure to fill that out and get it sent in. And if you go to the nextleveltraining.com website, again, JDS10, that's going to save you 10%. I do want to check real quick here while I've got everything out. I'm going to see what the trigger pull weight is on one of these when they're brand new. I typically will crank them up as far as they'll go. Because if we can pull a clean 8-pound trigger, we can certainly pull a 3-pound trigger. Yeah, we're breaking off the chart there. Let me try to get down a little bit lower on it. broke at about five and a half about five again about five and about five so three out of the four pulls were right at five pounds and you can adjust that up or down uh, the hardest that I've ever gotten the trigger pull to go is about eight pounds. The lightest I've had them is about two and a half. It's up to you. You can order spare magazines from Next Level Training. These are weighted magazines. They will fit in your live firearm for dry fire training. Always a good idea. So that's the 115S, folks. You get the frame size of the Glock 17 and you get the slide length of the Glock 19. So just another one of the tools that are available to you from Next Level Training. I uh, love my CERT pistols, train with them quite a bit and that's what I'm going to try to use to get this trigger finger back into action. So as usual folks, train hard, stay safe, shoot straight. Have a wonderful day.